We had started to dabble in doing some sleep apnea stuff. I found out my dad was pretty bad in sleep apnea. And so it was something that we wanted to get into, but we've had trouble implementing it into our office because whether it's the team not getting on board, issues with dealing with payment, not fully understanding the science behind it. There's just been things that have kept us, I think, back. And so for me, I wanted to kind of expand my knowledge basically in sleep apnea. You know, no, I haven't had any sleep apnea training before. I have seen a lot of stuff online and read a lot of stuff. I heard you speak obviously at, at Serona World, which kind of got me excited about it, but no, no formal training really of anything. You know, one of the things that I think you do a great job and your, your team does a great job is, is implementation and creating a workflow that any general dentist at any place in the country can implement and make function and make profitable. Uh, a lot of lectures you go to or, or continuing education you go to, you get excited and get this high, but when you go back Monday morning, you don't necessarily have a way to input it in your practice and implement it. And I think that that was the big thing that drew me to come here. My experience this weekend was probably a little different, honestly, because I didn't know what to expect. I thought one of the highlights was that we, we were able to do actual home sleep tests on a number of, I think like 15 or 16 people actually that were at the seminar. And so we were actually able to see of that 16 people, almost 50% of them had some sort of mild to moderate sleep apnea. And so to get that kind of hands-on experience, it was exciting. And, and then to hear also from your team members, that was something that was kind of interesting too, because it, it's great to hear how, how you implement it and do it, but it's another thing to hear it from the third party, the people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Part, you know, part of the reason I think I, I leave here more confident today is, is that I feel like I understand it better and I can be a better leader with my team. Um, before, when I was kind of unsure about some stuff, they could kind of sense that. And so I think that there was, there wasn't, there was some pushback because my confidence wasn't there. So now that I bring back and am excited and really feel like I have a good process to implement this, I'm gonna get a lot better. I think I'm gonna get a lot better implementation with, with that now. In hindsight, a part of me wishes I had brought my team members and, and not necessarily my, my, I think the big thing for me is I wish I almost brought my hygienist uh, and some of the ones that, that don't get, my assistants work with me all the time and they hear me at consults talk to them and they, they feel more familiar with it but hygiene kind of gets lost and they're the ones that see these patients who are like their family all day long. So that was probably somewhat of a regret is that I think getting them on board is gonna be so crucial to success. So now it's gonna work, but I'm gonna have a little more work to do going home. Whereas if I brought the team, I think that we would have probably had a lot, a, a little quicker implementation. What I would tell my fellow colleagues that are my age and trying to get into continuing education, that stuff is we gotta to learn to think bigger. Um, we, we, the money that it costs, the time, the energy, it's worth it. And if we really want to push ourselves and be the best dentist we can be, we have to think outside the box and realize that the, the, the cost that it takes or whatever to come and do that is going to be paying itself over 10 times over. Not only that, but you're able to treat your patients so much better by having that knowledge because when we graduate, we just don't know that much. I think the biggest difference for me in coming to a course like this is being face to face with people, getting to interact, ask questions. You know, this course was about sleep apnea, but I'm taking home so many more different things just from conversations having with dentists. And as great as online learning is, you don't necessarily get that personal interaction with people and develop those relationships that I feel like, hey, I can call and, and be like, you know, what do you think about this? Or, or, or have you tried this? And so you just miss that connection that allows, I think, honestly, you to get so much more out of it by being in, in the place where the continuing education is. You know, for me, this was a great weekend because I've been to a lot, I've probably taken a couple hundred hours of CE since I graduated two years ago. But what makes this course so unique is that unlike other courses where you work all day, you listen to lectures and you go home or maybe you go to the bar or something, we came over to T-Bone's house. And so we're sitting there around his kitchen talking about dentistry, talking about what we're doing, um, hanging out with everybody. And, and that's such a unique experience that you don't get other places. And so the that just, that one-on-one -on -one connection, um, building those relationships, to me, that's that's probably one of the biggest benefits of why I would come here. Honestly, one of the I think one of the best parts about this course is you have a a tandem of two people teaching that that's that work and mesh so well together. Um, Dr. Aaron's probably one of the the most inspirational people in 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 a way that takes a subject that doesn't seem to be the most exciting thing and makes it very exciting. I think a lot of dentists get scared of sleep apnea because they don't know how they don't know much about it. You don't know much about the bite. You know, you're gonna, are you gonna mess something up? And she presents it such a way that makes it understandable and, and educating to and fun at the same time. So that's a big plus to, to this course as well.